Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. It clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for December 31st through January 14th. Um, we're going to take a look again at the polar vortex as it remains over the polar region, the other side of the globe, over Asia. And then we go through the various days. It pretty much stays. across the polar regions and that is indicative of stronger than normal winds keeping the polar vortex across the north so we'll take a look at that um you see i have a lot to go over let's see oh okay right here these are the winds of the of the this level 10 um, middle, um, this is the level which of uh, the winds are, and the winds are very strong now, they're starting to weaken, and this could lead to possible a stratospheric, uh, stratospheric warming. Um, but so far this season, there has been a large temperature swings occurring east and the west, and the possible explanation is the polar vortex. And so far, there has been a large disconnect between the stratospheric and the and the tropospheric polar vortex. The stratospheric vortex has been unable to influence the tropospheric vortex, which has led to a more progressive movement of energy across the northern hemisphere so far. Things may change in the, uh, during the first week of January, and temperatures in the stratospheric vortex could approach record lows. And we'll take a look at that. I think I have, let me see. I forgot to bring that up. I'm having difficulties as usual. Let me see if I can bring this up. Um, okay, we're reaching like record lows. Here it is right here. The green line is the curve, but then it starts taking an upswing. And um, this occurred in the first week of January, which can in turn will produce a very strong vortex as low pressure dominates the Arctic. Later um, in the month, temperatures are expected to rise again significantly. And it will still, it is still uncertain whether this will be a sudden warming event, but if it's something to watch in the, in a couple of weeks, stratospheric events have the potential to disrupt the polar vortex, which can lead to a shifting from position over the poles to more out into the mid uh, into the mid latitudes for a while. And this warming seems to be uh, modeling is something to watch later in January. The uh, return. Um, the return period of warming is in stratospheric translate to the tropospheric difference, which each event can be able to, uh, can within a couple of weeks, which is a sudden stratospheric warming in week one of January. Uh, we could be looking at a risk of colder air masses in North America for week three and four. And that's why I mentioned, um, really I was trying to read that. I was stumbling a little bit because I was trying to look at the notes. Uh, but as I mentioned um, in yesterday's blog, um, there's a change coming probably around somewhere in the middle of the month. So this is what we're forecasting here. All right. Okay. Now we're going to look at the period for um, December 31st to January 4th. Thirty first to January fourth, and we still have our ridge trough configuration here with above normal heights. So um, the main event during um, this period will be the atmospheric river, river into the west, and we'll take a look at that. Um, let me see. Okay, this is a probability of a stratospheric event 
over the next few days. And you see we're approaching the, uh, the green to lighter blue about 60%, approaching 80%. And you see uh, it goes right into California. Now, what um, another thing here is the integrated water configuration. And this is aimed towards Southern California. And this we have the rainfall amounts that are forecast over this uh, during this period. Now, um, this will lead to possible heavy rain uh, <clears throat> and flooding in parts of the West, especially across California due to the fires that they had recently. And the Western Trough forecast to work its way um, into the center of the nation. The result would be above normal temperature or excuse me, above normal precipitation for the West and parts of the eastern states. And temperatures are forecast to be above normal across a large portion of the nation. Okay, uh, now we're going to look at the period for January 5th to the 9th. And still, there hasn't been much of a change. There is a little change in the period of forecast with the trough across much of Western North America and a ridge across uh, east, eastern North America. Now this trough uh, expands a little bit into the plains, but still uh, above normal heights to forecast across eastern North America. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for calling for Below normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies to be about 10 degrees or more across this area. Above normal, pre above normal temperatures forecast here, with the anomalies at 10 to 15 degrees above normal, the greatest anomalies here. And for precipitation, above normal precipitation forecast for much of the, uh, from the area west of the divide. And we have above normal precipitation from the Mississippi Valley to the Atlantic Coast. Probability of occurrence is near 45 percent looking ahead now um still in this pattern we're looking ahead for uh january 10th to the 14th and we start seeing a little bit of a change as this trough kind of lifts out still forecasting more of a zone of flow above normal heights across um much of um canada and so forth so for this forecast period I am calling for above normal temperatures for much of the region, for much of the country, with anomalies near 10 degrees above normal, and for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here and here. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 40%, and then we have below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is 35%. And that's just what I'm getting at here in the future. Like we have above normal heights here where before we had mostly um, what well, we have mixed height anomalies. You see, we go across the Arctic here below normal heights, low pressure, and then we have lower heights. Now, another thing, the um, the EPO is um, negative and it forecasts a uh, a ridge in the west and in the east and even if that happens just by that it could allow for colder air to sink south into the lower latitudes into the plains you have to wait and see a lot of speculative uh situation here so we'll keep an eye on that that's the long range weather forecast discussion for december 31st through january 14th thanks for coming to jim Munley's world of weather and have a good day